Greetings. This is Prophetess Dr. Sandra Ingram with the Rebuilding Your Walls Ministry. Pray that all is well with you on today. And today, there is a word from the Lord for you. Let us pray. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you thanking you for your goodness and your mercy, God. Thank you for your everlasting grace, God. And Lord, we thank you. We praise you, God. But before we ask you for anything, God, we repent for every sin we committed, every thought, word, or deed that was not like you. Forgive us right now in the name of Jesus. God, we come before you humbly, seeking to get into the holiest of holies in your presence. Because God, that's where we want to live and dwell. Continue to bless us and keep us, show us your way. Open our hearts and our minds to receive the word that you have on today, God. And Lord, may it fall on fertile ground. May it enrich someone. May it encourage someone. May it deliver someone. May it show someone who you are and the power that rests within you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So thank God for being with us on today. And today I'll be reading a very familiar scripture. And it is Psalm 37. Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourselves also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way. Because the man who brings forth wickedness, wicked schemes to pass, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret. It only causes harm. For evildoers shall be cut off. But those who wait on the Lord they shall inherit the earth. That was Psalms 37, 1 through 9. And for a subject today, I just want to ask you, what are you worried about? And when we come to this scripture, and sometimes we think about where we are in life and what we haven't accomplished and here we are at this point and others have gone before us and they have exceeded us. And it seems like we're stuck where we are while we're just sitting here watching everybody go forth. But I will tell you, your race is your race and your timing is your time. And it is set by God. And if your blessing doesn't come, for another year or two, believe me, when it comes, it will still be good. When it comes, it will still be joyful. When it comes, you will still be praising the Lord. So it doesn't matter how long it takes. It's how we take it long. And so what I mean by that is, even though it takes a long time, we can wait on it. 
And this word tells us what we shouldn't do. Number one, it says, don't fret. That means don't worry about it. Don't let it lay on your heart. Don't even try to think about it, of what people are doing. And they seem to get away with it. And you living right and holy and ain't nothing happened. And the people that's doing all wrong seems like they prosper. But that's the word. We see. We only know what we see on the outside. You never know what somebody's going through on the inside. And what they present to you may not be the truth. So you just live in your truth. And you just live in your house. And you just wait on the Lord for your appointed time. Because in your time, it will be well. And you will also prosperous. And then it said, trust in the Lord. While you waiting, while things are falling down, when, when, the, when the, the cars are going back, when your credit is bad, when you don't have no food, you've been misplaced from your job, you've been mistreated, trust in the Lord. And then after you trust, he says, dwell. Well, where are you going to dwell? Dwell in the spirit of God. Dwell in the presence of God. Remember, that's why we repent, so that we can get into the holies of holies and give God the highest praise, which is hallelujah, the sign language, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When you're going through and you're dwelling, if you're at work, just you don't have to say nothing to nobody. They don't even have to. Just give God the praise. When it seems like it's falling down, just Hallelujah. Give God the praise. And then after you dwell in his presence, and you remember you have to repent to get in the presence of God. We cannot come before God any kind of way. You have to repent to get into his presence. And that's what you do. Then after you dwell, you get into his presence. It says you want to delight also in the Lord. That means you're going to like where you are. You're going to be happy where you are. Not because your situation changed, but only because the Lord is there with you. Leading you, guiding you, and helping you to stand up on every leaning side. And after you delight and be happy, no matter what the day brings, you're going to keep on praising God. No matter what it looks like, you're going to trust God and say, God, I don't care if it's falling down. You said it would stand. I'm not believing my circumstances, but I'm believing what you told me to do. I'm believing what you said. I don't care what other people are doing and how other people are passing. I believe you. And in my season, I'm going to reap if I think not. And I'm going to commit my way to the Lord. All right. That means I'm going to commit and say, God, you got it. I'm going to put it in your hands. I commit it to you. When I get up in the morning and I pray and I say, God, into thy hands, I commit this day. I give it to you. You, when I commit it to God, he has control over it, not me. I give him permission to do what he wants to do in my life. And I'm not going to struggle against it. I'm just going to go with it, you know what, and trust him and dwell in him even when I don't understand. Because you know what I know? After I commit and trust, he going to bring it to pass. He going to bring it to pass. All I have to do is that word, wait on him. And after I wait on him, I'm arresting him. I'm not going to rest confused. I'm not going to rest being hyper. I'm going to rest in him and just lean back in him and be happy and calm and peaceful in him. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because I trust in him. And I'm going to cease from my anger. Yes, I'm not going to be mad. No, yes, I'm going through a long time, but I'm not mad. I'm not mad at nobody. Because my life is controlled by God. And then remember, I'm not going to fret. I'm not going to be angry. Because you know what? God has no respect of person. I am not looking at what God is doing for you, how fast you get it. I'm only looking at what God 
has for me. Because what God has for me, it is for me, and ain't a devil in hell can take it away from me. Because you know what? I'm going to inherit what God has given to me. So what you worried about on today? Be confident. Don't be angry. Don't worry. You know why? Proverbs 24 and 19 says, Rejoice, not in evildoers, neither be envious of sinners. So I'm not envious of nobody, because you know what? My time is coming. So, what happens is this scripture, it tells us what to do and not, and not what to do and what not to do. So number, we know that we're not going to fret and we're not going to be envious. But this is what we do to be overcomers and commit and not be wary. This is the recipe. All right. You're going to do God's will. Trust his timing, dwell in his word, delight in his love, commit to his timing, rest with peace, and cease from anger. We're not losing your temper or anything, and we're going to wait. And we're going to wait not any kind of way. We wanna, we're going to wait with patience because they that wait on the Lord, Shall be delivered. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. So what do we do? We wait and then we wait some more. But it's okay. Because God is with us. He said he would never leave us. No, nor forsake us. Wait. God will deliver you. When it's your time. What you worried about. God has everything in control in your life. Leave it in his hands and he will bring it to pass. Be blessed and have a blessed week.